on restoration and resurrecting the dead from dead works of sin and iniquity. God's mind is on restoring mankind. So if all you're thinking about is your college degree, your family, your vacation trip, your uh, wardrobe, what you're going to wear, your, your mind is strictly all about your 401k, how you're going to retire, where you're going to retire at, and, and where's my husband, God? Where's my wife, God? Where is my, 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 me, 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 my, 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 friends, you will not be able to discern the steps of the Lord because you become self-consumed, selfish, self-absorbed, self-centered, and you cannot discern the will of God and you cannot stay in step with God. And for those of us who have put our hand on the plow to to work the mission field, you have to stay in a posture to war, to, to keep all distractions because distractions cause us to lose traction. Keep your focus, friend, on the harvest no matter what is going on in your life. Where are your random acts of kindness? Where are your words of exhortation for those around you? Where is your weaponry to serve your fellow man? What are you doing, my friend, besides being consumed about all the cares of your life? And we don't want to belittle your pain and your situations, but we need to bring the balance in, friend. God knows where you are, but do you know where you are? In closing this exhortation, after Adam sinned against God, Adam and Eve, he asked a question. And you must know by now they're in shame. When we are straddled in shame and fear and anxiety and loneliness and depression, friends, God would ask the question, Adam, where are you? Where are you? Where are you in the epicenter? It's time to shut down that control center, selfishness, self-centeredness. You cannot control God. It's time for us to shut down these control centers within the heart and look towards heaven and give him back the reins. Lord, I trust you. I'd rather drag my feet and I've learned, friend, to wait on them, to take my time, so I don't misstep. i rather keep saying, God, show me. I need you to make this clear to me because we don't want to keep missing steps and having to go backwards. Come on, friends. And more importantly, we want to maintain the kingdom. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's right. When peace and joy abates, it's time for some self-reflection. What, where am I? Do I need to slam that door to that controlling spirit in me? Shut down the control centers. Amen? He or she that has the ear to hear. A man's heart plans his course. But the Lord determines our steps. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.